Voice of the Sea, learning from experts across the ocean. Welcome to Voice of the Sea. This time on Voice of the Sea, we catch up with do-it-yourself visionary and engineer Tony Lissere to see what aquaponics can look like in your front yard. Tony created a home aquaponics system complete with wind turbines he designed himself. I became uh, interested in building vertical axis wind turbines, okay? And so I did a little bit of research and I thought that a lot of the systems they had were flawed. And uh, so I decided to make my own. And what I was using initially for blades, which we'll see later, are PVC pipe, which I would cut into one third no pieces. Way. That's PVC, that's a pipe cut into a third. And what I decided to go with after that is high density polyethylene. And, and this is, it, it's heavy. Well, yeah, now pick the two up to, at the same time. And you'll notice this is quite a bit lighter. Ah. Now pick that one up, yeah, so you feel it. So what I decided was instead of using the PVC pipe, which has issues with UV, um, uh, they, they degrade in UV, um, I, mil I built this, this tool to make my own blades. And what this does is you heat the plastic up and you put it in flat and it's like a waffle maker. And then you make your waffles. All right, and so that's how you do it. And then these are water cooled so they keep the same temperature and you're able to make these. Oh. And so how did you build this metal piece? Um, I, I did a CAD, uh, a CAD uh, design and uh -huh. I took it over to Precision Water Cutting in uh, Lahaina and they cut the pieces and welded it together. So you, you talked about this mechanism is going to cool and help you to shape the polyethylene into the blade, but Correct. how do you heat it up? That's a good question. I didn't, it wouldn't fit in the uh, oven, so <laughs> I had to make my own oven. Oh and my so God. what I did was I took an old refrigerator and I repurposed it. And this is, as far as I know, Maui's largest uh, convection oven. So what happens is I have a heating element in here and I have a blower here which blows hot air throughout here. I get the polyethylene up around 100, 240 degrees. Um, it gets pliable enough to then go into the mold. It'll hold 50 blanks at a time. And then they go in hot, you wear gloves, because it is, and you shove them in, and then you, you do the process where you, you do it. Now, see, this one right now is, is um, it's cold, so it won't uh, take the mold. And then there's a water, a water um, tank in here that uh, keeps the temperature uh, constant. Wow, and, and so did you experiment around with the blade shape before you Well, made I did this these, model? and I knew approximately what I wanted. So, yeah. Yeah, in fact, I'm also working on a lift-drag design, which is what this one is here, uh -huh. where it's, it's, it's half wing and half, uh, half blade. So this right? is shaped kind of like a kayak blade that... Yeah, kind of. Now, see, this is more, more round, uh -huh. and this is more wing-shaped. And then I'll show you the, the results outside. Wind turbines. Uh, I uh, built these to harness the wind here, and we have plenty of it. And um, I found that solar here is difficult because the salt um, corrodes them. And so they have difficulty lasting the 10 years that they're warrantied. But these here I've been running for four years and we haven't had any problems with them. Um, right now these are not connected to the grid. Uh, these are just test uh, turbines. But you can see we have wind of about, I'd say it's about eight, eight miles an hour right now. So that device up there, it's a... Yeah, tell, it's, link to a computer and then tells me what it is. These have been spinning for about uh, about four years. Now I have the record for Maui because no vertical axis wind turbine has lasted more than a year in Maui. Well that was actually going to be my first question because mostly here we see the pinwheel style wind right, turbines. Right, right, the propeller kind, the bird choppers, whatever you want to call them. Right. They, um, they have uh, a couple inherent problems. Number one, they're more efficient so I'm going to give them their due up front. <laughs> but number two, they, they, they have um, they have to be facing the wind at all times. Uh -huh. So if you're the wind, they always sure. have to come back to you. The problem with that is the wind, as you can feel here, is gusty. It comes from different directions. Uh -huh. And in the time it takes for it to orient itself, they get vibration on the tip of the blades, and that's where the cavitation and the vibration comes from. Um, so they're loud. Anytime you have something like that, you're constantly working the material, and eventually some of them fail. These right here are in harmony with nature. They don't seem to um, have that, uh, that problem. These are called drag units. And not because they're a drag, but because it's like a swimmer. 
and they cup the air and they and they move it. Unlike an airplane wing, which is the type that Maui Electric has, uh -huh. which is called a lift unit, and it has an airplane wing and it actually can go faster than the speed of the wind. The wind. This, if it can get to a one to one with the wind, you're doing great. So um, these have been great. Uh, so pound for pound or yeah, I guess dollar for dollar <laughs> wind speed per wind speed these are going to generate less electricity only because yeah if you have a circle and you have the wind blowing in a single direction only one third of the blades are in power as opposed to if you have a propeller all of the propellers are in power at once I so see. they have less surface area into the wind at any one time the trade-offs absolutely dead quiet there's no noise there's no vibration uh -huh. from these that's that's the trade-off so would you rather have something that made a lot of noise and you only had one or you had three and they made no noise and you don't even know they're up there? So a rack like this, these are different ones. I don't have them all um, uh, operating right now, but a rack like this would be enough power to power my home. This is a 112 scale model of a wind tunnel that I'm trying to build at Maui College. Uh, this represents a eight foot by eight foot room by eight foot tall. So it gives you some idea of the scale. And that's one of my little wind turbines. Wow. And then I'll be able to test up to 100 miles an hour. How, I, I see the voltage, but yeah. how do you know how fast it's uh, There's a, a probe that I put in here, and I can tell. Oh, um, I can test the wind speed, and also um, I have a uh, optical uh, tachometer that'll tell me how fast the uh, wind turbine is going. Now, what I'm doing is using solar panels, so I do both electric and so wind. So it, it doesn't just look like solar panels; no. they are actually. Well, going. these aren't, but right, the, yeah, but right, they are. In and so what state. happens is, is I double the uh, uh, efficiency of the, of the beast. And that, those, that big fan that you saw in the uh, garage, uh -huh. that's a scale model of those fans. So that's what's going to be at Maui College hopefully next summer. So the kids will learn how to do the controls and the testing. Uh, Andy Carson at the college is interested in doing um, durability tests, like on a roof or something. So if you had a roof in there and say, okay, let's try it at 50 miles an hour for 24 hours, we could do that. So it's, it's really cool. It really could be quite cool. Are you worried at all? I mean, the first thing I thought of when I looked at the wind turbine model is the solar panels. Can they spin that fast? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I've done tests with, um, with cameras where I've taken it to one, one thousandths of a second, two thousand, one, one, one five thousandths of a second, mm -hmm. and then taking pictures with the camera, right? And so when you do that, is it blurred or is it, is it clear, right? Was the photons able to hit there and come back clear? Did you get a full jolt of sun, right? And it, and it works, and it actually works. So if you get a clean picture, that means that the, the light is able to hit it and bounce back. And so at the kind of speeds these will be turning, 400 RPM range, no problems. Now, it's something that nobody else is doing, and uh, um, it, it should be. It should be done. And do they, I, I noticed that on the model, the blades are flat. These well, are flat. This is the, the, the generation, because what I'm, they're flat on this, um, but they'll actually be curved somewhat. This is just, um, just a little bit of a test that I'm doing now. But, um, yeah. So a little bit of a model builder and, and uh, but see, it's so much easier to make a turbine at that, at that, um, at that gauge, at that size, than it is to make a full size one. I have a machine called a CNC machine and it, um, you put a piece of plastic down, punch it into the computer and it cuts uh, the patterns you need. So it's really nice. That's the same kind of machine that someone would use to shape a surfboard, right? The, the CNC. Yeah. CNC. Yeah, they, they have a surfboard might be, mine's a three axis. Uh -huh. So it goes up and down, side to side and back and forth. Uh -huh. um, a surfboard might be a five axis, I'm not sure. I've never, never done that. But yeah. Turn your love of the ocean into a lifelong career. Join NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, as we unlock the secrets in the deep oceans, track rapidly moving storms, model climate trends, 
protect and preserve our marine resources, and so much more. It's all in a day's work at NOAA. Find a career that makes a world of difference, enriching life through science, service, and stewardship. NOAA. The Curriculum Research and Development Group in the College of Education at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. CRDG has been providing quality educational programs and services for over 40 years, serving students, teachers, parents, educators, and experts around the world and here in Hawaii. The Curriculum Research and Development Group, improving schools, improving education. CRDG. The University of Hawaii Sea Grant College Program focused on Hawaii's coasts and its communities through sustainable development, safe seafood supply, sustainable coastal tourism, hazard resilience, and healthy coastal ecosystems. Hawaii's Sea Grant. Exploring Our Fluid Earth is a dynamic curriculum developed by the University of Hawaii's Curriculum Research and Development Group. Teaching ocean science concepts through the disciplines of physics, chemistry, biology, and ecology. Exploring Our Fluid Earth is now available freely online. Find out more at exploringourfluidearth.org. <laughs>